Hi! Welcome to the Many Hoonays. And this is another book and another read aloud from me. Do you remember the last time when we read Time for Bed, Fred? It was about a dog who, who was trying to avoid going to bed. He splashed in muddy puddles and then he had to take a bath. And today we're reading Specs for Rex. He's not actually a Rex, as you can see on the cover. As, as I mean, not, I, as I can see on the cover, he's not a Rex, he's just a lion. Let's start reading. Specs for Rex. Rex had no specs. Specs were big and round and red. Do you think he liked his specs or didn't? Rex did not like his specs at all. At breakfast, Rex tried to hide his glasses, but Daddy heard all the crinkling and crunching. Put those glasses back on, Rex, he said. Good thing his dad caught him, or else someone would be eating glasses or specks. Mommy and Rex walked together to school. Have a fun, Rex. Have a fun day, Rexy, said Mom. I'll see you soon, and she kissed him Bye-bye. As soon as Mommy had gone, Rex brushed his hair over his face. At least no one would be able to see his glasses now. But Rex couldn't see anything. He stumbled into the classroom. Rex, cried Miss Spots, what a racket. Take your hair out of your face and come sit down. Play nicely, children, said Miss Spots. Now, where has my whistle gone? While the other children played, Rex hid. He didn't want anyone to see his specks. At snack time, Rex found the perfect hiding place for his glasses. But he was too hungry. Soon, his hiding place has been gobbled up. It was a jelly sandwich. <laughs> that means it was at lunchtime or it could be snack. In art, Miss Spots asked the children to paint a picture. Rex painted his specs. He's funny, thought Zoe. Oh, Rex, said Miss Spots, groaned. Can I hear you groan? She sent Rex to the bathroom to wash his face. Rex had an idea. The children ran into the playground. It was pretty windy outside. Everyone had fun playing tag with Rex. After recess, they all pretended to be jumping beans, except for Rex. He found another way of hiding his specs. And he found something else, too. What do you think he found? Here's your whistle, miss. He found Miss Spots' whistle. As you know, Miss Spots is his teacher. Oh, well spotted, Rex, said Miss Spots. I think that earned you a gold star. Those new glasses of yours must be working. It was time to go home. They went to get their coats. I like your specs, Rex, chirped Zoe. I'm going to ask my mommy if I can have glasses too. Can you come over and play at my house tomorrow? Rex's mommy was waiting outside for him. So, how are you new? How were you new? Specs, she asked, giving him a big hug. They were great. 
Rex beamed. They helped me find Miss Spots's whistle. And I got a gold star. Oh, that's wonderful, said Mommy. That deserves the biggest hug ever. There's Zoe. And there's Rex on swings. And if you look at the end, there is Time for Bed Fred. You can find these books at the library. See you next time. Bye. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the many who knows.